this is a pretty odd request. Why do you want to do this anyway? You promised me you'd get her to meet me. That's all I want. You say she's just an illusion, but I don't buy it. Well, she is an illusion. In this realm. But a promise is a promise. I can't stop you from meeting with her. <laughs> Very well. You should know, though, that she is not a resident of this reality. She is an ancient being who enters men's dreams to perform evil. I take no responsibility for what happens if you pursue her. Hey, you know what? Enough with the threats. Quit the chit-chat. Just call her. She's already here. Take your time. My job here is done. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. How have you been? I mean, it's... it's good to see you again. Yeah. I've never been called out like this before. It was really surprising. So, what do you want? You know what I am, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you scared? Well, maybe a little. Hmm. Vincent, listen. I was only helping him out on a whim. You're the one who wanted me. And you're the one who rejected me. Remember? And now you ask me to meet you here. What's this about? Well, I wanted to talk. With me? Yeah, of course with you. <laughs> what is it? Look, don't worry about it. I don't care that you dumped me. Y well, no. That's not it. It's not? So... There's something I want... Something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. So, out with it already. I've made up my mind. Your mind? Before, I was worried about my future. I thought my life was being decided for me. But meeting you, I feel like I've overcome that. <laughs> what are you saying? You met me and overcame... what? I don't know how to say it. Society's all about patience and self-sacrifice, right? I mean, everyone practically kills themselves to stay safely within the herd. Mm -hmm. But I hate that life. Even if it means I'm going astray myself. That's why I was willing to go through all of that nightmare bullshit. But I made it out alive. I'm not in the herd anymore. Now that I've met you, I've lost all hesitation that I had. Huh? I'm... I'm totally free now. Together, we can both live our lives to the fullest without chaining each other down. Uh, I see. And so, I've decided... I want to live with you. L uh, live with me? Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Living with me means... Oh, I can quit being human, if that's what it takes. <sighs> I've made up my mind. Don't you believe me? Vincent? I want you. Let's get married. Marry me? We can do it, right? I... I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. You can't stop it, Vincent. Jeez, mm. knock it off, will ya? Oh, good. I'm glad that you understand. Well, wait a minute! I haven't agreed to anything yet! All I want is for you to be with me. Y you can do whatever you want, okay? Whatever I want? You know I'm not human, right? That could present problems. Uh, such as? Uh, lots of them, actually. Besides, it's not like I can stay here with you. The thing is, Vince, the whole kid thing would have to be off the table. And I mean, everything I did to you... I might do to other guys. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just take it one day at a time? One day at a time? And you're okay with that? I'm sure we'll manage somehow. <laughs> what the fuck?! I heard you, human 
What in all damnation are you prattling on about, eh? One day at a time? What utter absurdity! A mere human dares ask to wed the daughter of the plenipotentiary of the netherworld? Not in my house! You're his daughter?! Get out of here, Daddy! I'm having an important conversation, okay? So this guy's your father. You got a problem? <laughs> let's go home. You promised you'd play video games with me tonight. Okay, uh, let's just cut to the chase then. I need to know, okay? No more games now, Catherine. What do you think of me, honestly? <laughs> Well, I am... Um... Hey! Why the hell are you blushing? Are you embarrassed over a human? Oh, you shut up! <laughs> Jeez, how do I put this? Um, well, to put it in human terms, I guess... I... I like you. And I was spending time with you when I was supposed to be seducing other men. What on earth is going on here? I was supposed to seduce more people, but... Okay, that settles it then. Uh, Marry me, Catherine. Oh, no! It's not okay at all! <laughs> Never! You're not taking my baby! Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? And the finale, mm, with Vincent begging not his ex-girlfriend, but the succubus to come back to him. Not only that, but asking her to marry him. Mm, talk about being wild. She was shocked, but it looked like she was pretty pleased by it. I gotta say, he said some interesting things while confessing his love. That in order to live a normal life, you need self-sacrifice and patience. And if he's gonna stick out, he might as well live freely. Vincent found an answer for himself during the nightmares. And maybe Catherine accepted it because it reached her heart as his true answer. Her reaction might depend on how well she can sense Vincent's feelings. <laughs> I think that their future might just depend on it. Now tell me. What did all you players out there think of this outcome? He said that he's willing to quit being human. Is that... <laughs> okay? Are you players who led him this far a bit worried about him? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Let's take a peek into the future and see what happens next. <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Hey, how long have you been awake? All this time. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> it's not like you let me get any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning, kiddo. Good morning. No! What? What in the fuck? 
Don't mind me just laying around. Of course I mind you! Why are you in my bed? Oh, just ignore him. It's no big mystery, Vincent. He's here to stalk us. Oh, sure. A stalker, huh? A stalker? That's a cruel way to put it. I mean, I am a god after all. I'm working hard for the sake of the world. I hate this as much as you do. Yeah, I kinda <laughs> doubt that. Don't worry. Just think of him as decoration. Besides, it's better when someone's watching. No! I love you, Vincent. Yeah. I really love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> And getting kind of lazy, aren't you? Oh, come on. It's not like there are any men out there hotter than you. Of course not. Don't be silly. Mm. I can't believe a human man can be this incredible. It's so surprising, don't you think? Although, he's definitely not human anymore. Oh, I get so hot sitting near him. It makes me just melt away. Mm. You really are sinful, you know. What will you do with yourself? All these demons wrapped around your finger. <laughs> Everyone acknowledges your power now, my love. Right, Daddy? <laughs> oh, hey there, Dad. Didn't, uh, didn't see you there. I don't even know what to make of it. A mere human with this much power, it's simply unheard of. <laughs> I was shocked too, Nergal. <laughs> yeah, I am a good fit for this world. Oh. Right, honey? Oh. Damn it all. <laughs> oh, Daddy, stop being difficult. Just give up already. <laughs> what do you mean you give up? To be honest? I really thought I was gonna die last night, but I lived, and I'm free, right? It, yes. A promise is a promise. With all that shit going on yesterday, I did what I had to do. But maybe now I don't need to worry about getting back what I lost. This is so sudden. Why? Well, how do I put it? I guess I had an epiphany. What you said about the prosperity of the species triggered something. I'm not sure anything I said would cause you to do this. Look, everyone's gotta die sometime, right? No matter how powerful you are, or how much you take care of yourself. So, you need to pass the torch. And marriage is the preparation for that, right? Well, if that's the case, then brother, I am not ready to get married. Hmm. When I was younger, I guess I figured something would happen to you know, validate my lifestyle. But that didn't happen. Instead of adapting to life, I got all scared by the slightest decisions. Yeah. But things are different now. I finally feel that I can progress. Well, I only feel that I can. Well, this is interesting. If that's true, then I apologize for giving you those nightmares. Then, uh... What about me setting up your meeting? Huh? Don't worry about it for now. But no more nightmares, you got it? I'm not going through that shit again. Well, yes, of course. I promised you that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mutton. Yes? That arcade machine over there. It's just like the dream, huh? Uh, I guess you could call it a machine that makes it easier to enter the nightmare. Are you serious? I played that damn thing all this time without knowing? You sure are a pain in the ass, man. I'm sorry. Hmm. Huh? 
I'm fine being single, but I did win fair and square. Give me a loan instead. Huh? This is a sudden request. Uh, how much? About this much. You want $500? I could probably manage that. $50,000. $50,000? Come on, buddy. You're the boss. You gotta have that much. You know I just opened this shop recently. I don't have that kind of... I didn't ask you to give it to me. I just want a loan. I'll pay you back when I'm big time. Will you make it big? <laughs> Hell yeah. I just need funding. I gotta invest in myself. Here's the deal. The deadline for the first space tour is almost up, and I want in. That's not investing. That's just selfish. Selfish? That's nothing. You're the one that almost got me killed for no reason. Argue all you want, but I can't give what I don't have. This is all I've got. <laughs> what? Seriously? Geez, you suck at your job. This isn't nearly enough. I told you. Fine, fine. I'll just take this and bet it on the wrestling match. Huh? You're good with that, right? Then we'll just call it even? <laughs> even? Sounds pretty unfair to me. Like I said, I'm only borrowing it. After all, I'm throwing back drinks here all the time, right? Huh? Oh. Very well. But make sure you pay me back. I'm putting this on paper. Okay. Write it on your forehead for all I care. So, what match are you betting on? Rasslin' Sanity. That's where all the big money's at. Let me put... all of it on Feather. You're going all in from the start? Yeah, just shut up and place to bet. Tomorrow, we will drink with my winnings. Just because it's not your money. to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? The ending, <laughs> it turned out surprising, with Vincent not getting back with anyone. After overcoming such a grand trial, he said that he felt burnt out. He's finally free, so there's no need for him to decide his lifestyle now. The answer Vincent found for himself during the experience in his nightmares if this is the true answer he has for his future, then I want to see what happens now that he believes in himself. After all, <laughs> nobody has their future already laid out for them. Now, what did all you players out there think of this outcome? What happened with the money he took from Boss? Then, <laughs> let's take a look into the near future. <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Just not good enough. Although, I kind of knew that all along. Tell me. What's with this all of a sudden? I gotta tell you guys something. I asked Catherine out. <laughs> you did what? Hey, you two broke up, right? Why do you care? Oh, Chief, are you serious? Wow, buddy. <laughs> so that's what was with you. 
No, I ran into her downtown recently, so we tried asking her out. Coincidence, huh? Vincent, maybe Catherine... Maybe Catherine's still... Hey, Johnny. You always said that men and women are drawn together by fate. Huh? You know what? I kind of like that idea now. My whole life's ahead of me. Huh? What's up with you? Seriously, what's up? Oh, hey, it's starting. Wrestle Insanity 49 is almost upon us. A Galactic Ladies of Wrestling Champion will be crowned. Four fighters will lay it all on the line tonight. You can just feel the intensity burning up the ring tonight, folks. I'm putting it all on you. Let's do this feather! Wait, 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 feather? That's not happening. We all know you don't root for the villain, but there's no way in hell Feather can win. Hey, shut up! It's wrestling. No one knows who wins till it's over. But... but... Feathers... Hey, Feather does look more pumped up than usual. Now, don't you start now. There's no way. Why live a life without doing what you want? That's just a recipe for a life of misery. Hey, what's going on? Orlando sent me this text saying that we should all get together since it's been a while. <laughs> and the bartender came and picked me up himself. What gives? Yeah, I'll explain that in a second. But first, thanks for coming. <sighs> so where is everyone? Why is it just us here? I had Orlando text you. I wanted to talk with you myself. But you wouldn't answer any of my calls. <sighs> so, what is it? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. Don't you get it? Yeah, I do. I need to tell you something. Why am I putting up with this? Vincent. <sighs> what is it? This is your last chance. It was all an illusion. Huh? What was? My cheating. Huh? There never was another woman. Are you kidding? I'm not gonna believe that. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm telling you the truth. I never cheated on you. Don't be stupid. I'm serious here. I was losing it, and, and I thought I was cheating. I know, I know, it all sounds like bullshit. I was driving myself crazy too, I mean... I mean, that's a problem in of itself, but... Hey, are you serious? It's all true. My friends and the boss here showed me that it was all in my head. You don't expect me to believe this. No. I just didn't want it to end with a misunderstanding. That's why I had you come here. No, that can't be true. Then that means because of that, we... You're lying. It's not a lie. Johnny, Orlando. Long time no see, Kay. Sorry. Don't sweat it. 
It'd be hard for anyone to believe a story like that at first. Yeah. Well, we didn't believe it either, until we heard from Erica. Huh? Besides, if this fool really did cheat on you, well, he wouldn't help him out like this. Um... About the... illusion. Allow me to explain. You? What the heck? What's going... You see... It's all true. Please, believe me. <laughs> Catherine. Let's give him some time. It may have been fake, but in my heart I was still cheating on you. I'm sorry. I know you can't forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> no, I can't. I finally woke up. <laughs> I was worried about how my life was going. I thought everything was being decided for me. I was being tossed about by the world. I had so much stress. <laughs> but after you dumped me, I figured it out. My life has no meaning without you. Why are you telling me this now? So I'll never regret not telling you. I will hold you dear for the rest of our lives. You marry me. <sighs> Catherine, I love you. This is so sudden, I... I don't mean now. Someday. That's not what I meant. <sighs> I guess... I'll consider it. You... You'll consider it? I... Uh, this is wonderful. Just wonderful. Hey, hey, what are you getting worked up about? Besides, I can't believe... I know, I can't either. This is perfect. What? Jeez. That is... I can barely believe this myself. Uh, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Now, here comes the bride. Yeah! Yeah! good. To the couple's eternal happiness, folks. A toast! Do this. Hey, boss! More champagne! Let's huh? go! Oh, yeah, I'm on it. You know, I've been thinking, maybe I should start looking for my own soulmate. <laughs> Toby, you idiot! Don't record me without telling me! Hey, come on, what's the big deal? Oh, wow, this is some feast. So just what is Chief really looking for when he talks about meeting his soulmate? Yeah, I don't know. I never asked him. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Hey, so I heard the news. This place isn't closing down after all. That's right. It's good for me since I get to hang on to my job. Huh? Although he's not gonna stop hitting on <laughs> me. Oh. He's kind of an odd one, huh? And besides... It'll be fine. I mean, I don't believe everything he said. But I'll go on drinking here if it keeps those dreams away. And besides, if this place ever goes under, then this town will have nothing going for it, right? Exactly. Can't have our local hangout clothes on us. Anyway, Catherine looks great in that outfit. She's wasted on you, Vince. Man, I'm so jealous. Life is so freaking unfair, you know? I'm never gonna win big like him. <laughs> oh, Erica. don't you worry now. We'll always have each other, sweet pea. Uh, I, the other guys knew you was Eric back in school. 
I want my damn V card back. Sorry, but once that hole is punched, there's no refund. Uh, oh, come on, Johnny, please, for the love of God, stop recording me. <laughs> come hey, on, don't let's sweat it. Now. Give me a smile. Oh, hey, what took you so long? The fairy was running behind. Orlando. I guess I should tell you, we've decided to give things another shot. Uh, another shot? What? Really? Well then, congratulations, you two. Well, it's just that, I don't know, lately I've had a little more spring in my step, you know? So, what's the plan? Try to learn from my mistakes back when I was young and dumb. This time around, things will be different, just you watch. Huh? huh? This time? I'm gonna get back into the fishing industry. Only here's the kicker, I'll be fishing exclusively for kappa. Huh? What, just kappa? You better believe it. I'm after the rarest beast in the sea. Eating one will give you peerless virility. Wow, that's awesome, Orlando. You really know your stuff. You got him believing in kappa now? He never learns. No such thing. So how come your fairy was Guys, late? heads up! The star of the show has just arrived! Yo, congrats, man. Make sure you keep your lovely bride happy, okay? All right, Toby, let's start the kiss call. Uh-huh, sounds good to me. Yeah, everyone grab your spoons. Got your glasses? Glasses up, sound off! I love you so much, Vincent. I love you, Catherine.